Welcome to my channel. To this video, I'm going to make a copycat Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A. <laughs> but you know what? Even better because you're gonna put your own seasoning, your own taste, and you're gonna make it homemade. So if you want to see this video, stay tuned. To make the chicken, I'm gonna be using three chicken breasts, boneless and a skinless. And I already washed my, my chicken real good. If you don't wanna wash it, you don't have to. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in bite size pieces. Okay, I already cut the chicken and I'm going to use this Ziploc bag. If you don't have a Ziploc bag and you don't want to use a Ziploc bag, that's perfectly fine. You can use a bowl, but I'm going to, for me, I think it's easier because we're going to put all the seasonings in there and we're going to put the flour right there also. Now I'm going to go ahead and season in the chicken. I'm going to add some salt one tablespoon of salt and i want to mention you can use any seasoning of your preference and the amount depend on your taste also you can put more ingredients you can put less so i'm going to show you what i'm going to put in here approximately one teaspoon of ground pepper one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of paprika. I'm having here onion powder, so approximately one teaspoon. And one teaspoon of cumin. I'm going to add two tablespoons of oil, any type of oil, vegetable, canola, corn oil, any type of oil. I'm gonna crack one egg. Now I'm gonna seal the bag real good and I'm going to mix everything. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the flour. This is all purpose flour. And I'm gonna start by adding one cup. So you're gonna add this gradually. And then I'm going to, you see, now I'm gonna go ahead and add a half of the cup and that's it. And also we're gonna use oil. We're gonna heat it up some oil, not too hot, not too low, and medium high. And when the oil is hot, we're gonna start frying the chicken.
Okay, this is how it looks and it's time to taste. It's real good, but I think need more salt for my taste. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle some salt in there. And I'm going to serve mine with the chick fil -A sauce. Use a little bit more salt and we're done.